We are currently having a tribunal session here in uh, Soroti City and um, through this tribunal session the tribunal is handling 19 cases of alleged human rights violations particularly involving the right to personal liberty and the right to freedom from torture. Um, 18 of these cases were reported against the Office of the Attorney General, while one case is against the Uganda Wildlife Authority. The tribunal is being presided over or chaired by the chairperson of the commission, Honorable Madam Maria Mwangadia, and it also constitutes a panel of three other members of the commission, that is Honorable Retired Colonel Stephen Basaliza, Honorable Crispin Kaheru, and Honorable Jacklet Atuhaire Rabukurukuru. The tribunal has so far concluded or decided on six of the 19 cases before it, with four of them being awarded uh, compensation awards for the complainants were awarded compensation awards and two of the cases were dismissed. When we go into the details of the cases that were resolved or disposed of or had conclusively, we have one Okello Richard against the Attorney General. The case involved violation of his right to freedom from torture, cruel, inhuman and degrading treatment. He was awarded Uganda shillings 12 million by the tribunal. Uh, Mutama Richard, Sakwa Moses, and Sakwa William versus Attorney General. The case involved a uh, violation of the right to uh, personal liberty. Mutama Richard, Sakwa Moses, and Sakwa William were each awarded 8 million as general damages for violation of their right to personal liberty. We have Aseu John Bosco, Omolo Anthony, Achedu Peter, Okeju Yafesi, Atim Demetria, Amuge Janet, Oyola Ben, and Osuku Moses. In this particular complaint, Okeju Yafesi was awarded 10 million as general damages for violation of his right to freedom from torture. Omolo Anthony was awarded 5 million as general damages for violation of his right to freedom from torture. Amuge Janet was awarded 5 million for violation of, his, of her right to protection from torture. Then Oseku, Osuku Moses and Achedu Peter were also each awarded 5 million for violation of their right to protection from torture. We have Abongoto Richard, Emuge Joseph and Tino Joyce Mary versus Attorney General in which an award was made to Emuge Joseph of 4 million shillings for violation of his right to personal liberty. I explained to your colleagues that the right to personal liberty is provided for under Article 23 of the Constitution, which provides that for anybody arrested and detained by police, they should either be given police bond within 48 hours or taken to court within 48 hours. So where somebody is detained, beyond 48 hours, then their right to personal liberty um, has been violated. Um, two of the cases were dismissed. Uh, one of the cases was dismissed for loss of interest, and this is because all the Commission's efforts to summon the parties were futile. The parties never appeared before the tribunal. Uh, three times they were summoned. So the case was dismissed for loss of interest. We also have Inonget Robert versus Attorney General, which involved the alleged violation of the right to personal liberty, whereby the case was dismissed for departure from the pleadings. This is a complainant who, when he came, he mentioned a specific date of his arrest and detention as 11th July. When he gave his testimony at the tribunal, he then mentioned that he was arrested and detained on 12th July. The date he gave was 11th June, 
But during his testimony, he stated that he was arrested and detained on 11th July. So you can see that there is a difference of one month. Yet when he came, he mentioned a different date. When he appeared before the tribunal, he mentioned a different date. Meaning that he abandoned his earlier allegations. And of course, when you do that, it causes a contradiction that goes to the root of the case. And as such, the case cannot survive uh, because of the grave contradiction. So this particular one was dismissed for that reason. And then we go ahead to urge the public to continue using the services of the Commission through our regional office here in Soroti City and our two field offices in Bale and Captura to report complaints of human rights violations. The Commission's Tribunal during this session awarded a grand total of 70 million shillings to victims of human rights violations.